What is up, guys? Pittsburgh Weishwartz back again. So here we're in red in Albuta. Uh, as always with this, we're mixing up our cast a bit. So we got me, uh, Zach, and Andy, who you've all seen before. And we got a new a new member on the call. Uh, we got Brandon. Uh, the, the sack lord himself, the Konosuba god. Brandon's here. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, um... We're doing Bunny Girl Red this time. Uh, like we said before, these are the cards as they are in Japanese, and we are reviewing them in the lens of the English meta. We cannot guarantee that the cards will work exactly the same as they do in JP, but it's not announced as a version E. We're pretty confident that these are going to be the exact cards as they'll be in English. As always, as well, big thank you to Heart of the Cards for their translations and Little Akiba for their scans. So... We could not do this presentation without them. So let's get right into it. So starting off with the double rares, we got Mai, Sakurajima, Bunny Girl, Senpai. So this is an on-reverse Rize, which is reveal top three, take a character, uh, pitch the rest, and then pitch a card from your hand. And then also when it goes from stage to waiting room, so you can't play over it for this effect, you put the Mai finisher in memory. Um which is very important for that finisher specifically. Because when it comes out of memory, it reveals the top two cards of your deck, it mills them, and for level two or higher, you burn for that amount. So it either burns for one or two when it comes into play from either hand or memory. So this is like one of your engines for putting the Mai in memory. So, like, I don't know where you cut the last video off, but at the end of the last one... I was talking about how busted I thought this card was. I mean... It's literally... It, it's a Rize, and it gives you memory compression for free on play. Even if you... <laughs> on reverse like Even Rize, taking the, the combo part out of it, it's just free compression with a Rize body. Well, if you're running that 3-2. But on, on reverse, Rize's aren't as good as on play, obviously. Like, on play, Rize's are broken. Um, like Armin and True Rize and stuff like that. But, I mean, every set has basic every modern set has been getting this effect like goblin slayer has it albuta has it um it's been very common and i think it's very strong if you're in red and especially if you're running the my combo you run this but okay so if you are running this and you put it in memory then you're running a lot of other cards too so like that that's a whole package to like pull the card out of memory it's not like the dear my sister stuff where they go to memory and they just come out when you play the climax, yeah, if there's like an event. Out. There's like yeah. a three-one event that puts it on the field. There's a two-one Sakata that like early plays it to the field. It's like a whole mess of cards you have to put in your deck. So, I mean, the finisher that goes with this is pretty good too. It is. That's gonna be coming up yep. in a couple slides, but it's really good. Yeah, it's a very good finisher. Ooh, I get to talk about it. Um, Ooh, baby. Ooh. Yeah, on reverse Rizes are just good filter. Yeah. Uh, it's 500 power, so you can always crash it. You can set up reverses for Kaide or whatever other, or the Maguro, regardless of what plushing, plusing finisher, or plusing <laughs> level one you are running um, to set up for the finisher. Um, So that's good. Because, like, I'm pretty sure all of them, except for the Maguro, are on reverse. Is it worth running without the finisher, though? As the. Yeah, that's that's what I was getting to. That's the big question. Is this worth running without the finisher? Like, it still could be. It's still a reason. Yeah. It's still a table. If you have slots and need a red fix, you put this in, right? Yeah. Yeah, like... Like, I probably still wouldn't, though. I just feel like I'm missing out on the free compression every time I play it. But I guess it still is a reason. so... If you need some filtering at zero on a red card... Yeah. I guess? Yeah. It's still good. Like, this effect is too good that it sends a card to memory. Puts a card from your deck into memory on death is an on-reverse Rize. I, I don't think that can be anything less than an A. That's just too good. <laughs> what? Brandon, <laughs> Brandon, we're not on the green cards. We're on the red cards. Go to slide 63. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> That's why nothing's making sense. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell are you guys talking about? No. <laughs> All right. Did he make it there? It, it should be the one with her in the, the bunny outfit. Oh. With oh, the bow tie and the now. titties. Yeah, that's her. Okay. That's it. Yeah, I guess Carmen it's an A. Okay. Oh, I see. I see how this works now. Okay. <laughs> Filter and Mills for standby. <laughs> Natural synergy with the climax trigger that's on that finisher, which is gate. It's putting cards in your waiting room. I'd give it. I'd give it an A plus. I think the only thing keeping it from being S is that it's tethered to the to the tethered finisher. To, the, the card that goes to memory is tethered to. Like the if it was more generic, if it was just send any card to the memory, this would be like an S plus. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. for sure. I, I know minimal about the game, so I'll be a sheep and click A. Okay. <laughs> that, that's a, no, 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 Brandon. We want your raw, unfiltered opinion. Yeah, yeah. I kind of just got here. I'm, I've been lost because I thought we were in like slide one. We're actually in slide 63. So. All uh, right. So we'll re rack. We'll re rack. Next card, and you get to read it, Brandon. This is Kaide Azusagawa Twilight Sky. I'm looking at the 3 2 red 8500 card, right? Yes. yes. Yep. All right. So, if you have four more adolescence characters, it gets minus one, so it's an early play. Place on hand from stage, reveal the top card. If it's level one or lower, goes to stock. If it's placed on the stage or from the in its place from your hand on the stage, you may uh, go from clock to see so heal one. Yeah. So this is Brandon, the, this like... is your favorite card ever, right? Four adolescents on the stage at one time. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Pretty powerful. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> This this card's super hot in JP. This is like the early play. Oh, she's hot. Okay. Anyway, um, so it this does. A it's a three. <laughs> it's a three-one healer, basically, is how you have to look at it. A three-one healer with free cost, like this just... with a free condition, rather. Like, it's small, but it does swing for two soul, which I think is all... Yeah. Basically, like, Mesmerizing Water Goddess, in a way, right? Sort of. Like, you don't have to discard. It's, well, it's you don't have to discard, though. You don't have to discard. Yeah, it's so. a high roll. You have to quote-unquote high roll. Yeah. You get the heal for free, but to get the stock, you have to quote-unquote high roll, though. That's a really good chance of happening. In a standby build where you're slanting towards... You're probably only running it, 15 or 16. So much, so much, yeah. You just yeah. don't have to hit a climax. Just only that climax and you're good. And you have ways to look at top. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's level one or lower, not one or higher. FYI. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, th but even not, still, so, this is kind of like uh, so it hits Krista on from AOT. Yeah, it's kind of Krista-esque, but it's an early play. Yeah, Krista in the opposite direction. I think it's better than Krista. I wish it just got power, though. It's just only 8,500, yeah. which is kind of... The important yeah. part for the deck is that it is a early play heal for... that. It is a 3-1 early play heal that has two soul. It, like, keeps you in the game, right? Even if... <sighs> I don't know, like... I wish it did more. Like, there's other early plays in other colors. Like, why am I playing this early play? Because the deck it, wants to stall. This heals, yeah. this heals, it's, which is nice, right? And you get two souls, but... It's a little low on the, on the power side, though. It's, it's low on the power, and it doesn't have any sort of evasion. Like, no hand on core, no, no filtering when you play it, nothing extra. You maybe get a stock back, but... So, like, the turn this is on the board, I think the theory is that you stand by the Koga support. So it's a 10-5 <laughs> that also does all this. Which is, like, not bad. I think it's not I think great that's either. the theory. It's not great. No, and if you're if you're stand buying this, you could just stand by the great performance card if you're playing Koga. I think it this just more so is a good card in the deck that plays the Futaba bodyguard because it stalls to get you there. Oh yeah, not Koga. Yeah, if if you're playing a, a Futaba deck with a Futaba bodyguard, right? Mm -hmm. Why would I stand by this over the Futaba? No, this exactly. You don't worst, stand by this. Like you play this from hand. Stand by target. I've seen. Yeah, you, you don't, don't stand, stand by, by the this. card. You play this card you don't from stand hand. By yeah, this is a, this is an early play. You play from hand in a standby deck. I think that's the lens we have to look at it. Like yeah. as a card that you're going to play in a standby deck as an early play. This is pretty good 
Like, because you're probably going to have some sort of passive buff on the field anyway. Because you're a standby deck, you care about power. You run a 3-5, like a 2-1-3-5 backup. I think it's kind of weak. I'm a little underwhelmed with this. I think this should not be a double rare. I'm kind of confused why it's a double rare. It's the fact I'd probably that it's give a it free like, cost. Or, okay, Andy. I'd give it like a B. It's a free... It's a free condition mm. early play heal for one. That's you know what, you know what else is a early play free condition? A two two vanilla nine k. But it doesn't heal and you. And they can't anti change it. It can't it doesn't heal. heal you. And it doesn't, doesn't heal you. Stock. Doesn't doesn't play for one. And this this card's not giving you stock all the time either. I mean, yeah, you it can top a chance check. To. That makes it better than the. You can two, set two the top card. You can you can like top check with the Kogas, which Brandon, should, those are the green cards we did last. That was the Koga just two. Yeah, I don't know. I think this card for the strategy of the deck is very important. And yeah, that it's agree. so aggressively costed. It I, I'd give this an A plus for the strategy of the deck. Like really? I, I I I understand all your gripes with the card and I don't disagree with you, but I think in the context of the deck, this is like the perfect early play for a standby build to play where they want to buy as much time as they can. Trigger more standby, play more standby, like heal. It has two souls, so you're keeping up in the damage race. Like, who, if if you're like setting, okay, think about it this way: you play the Koga that's rearranged top two, and you see a standby and a level zero. You play this card down. It plays for one. You then crash it, like you like swing with it and like play over it like with a koga or something like you have to think about it as a 3-1 heal that has two soul and like just not even care about the power like if you care about power like in decks that run this i feel like you also run that green shoko early play so if you need a early play with power that heals you play that and if you needed a stock efficient early play that has two souls you play this so like you have options like i think it's really cool that this card exists and still has two soul I don't know. I I think it's kind of weak. I think that's some weak sauce right there. I think it could be a little bit better. I don't think that should be a double rare. No, I don't. I don't know. But I, like, I mean, I get what I get. What you're saying though, like in a standby build, it's just you so kind of want like an off finisher that you can kind of play down next to it. Well, not even a finisher. It's just so efficient. Like, it's super super efficient. You you play it for three one and it heals you and you don't have to worry about a condition like the Shoko you can only play with two or less. You have to work for the three one though. It's a free play. Work for it. you okay, just it's Moe. It's a free play three one. And think think of it this way too: if you you need to have four or more other characters if you want to early play this, right? That's a non. If you early play it, then you don't have and an standby. Open... That's not an issue. It is an issue because you don't have an open spot to play a standby, so you're minusing then. Uh, not always. Your your plan your standby is not hitting an empty row. You're hitting it you're over something else. You're not playing a then. standby from hand at two in this deck, though. Why the hell not? You play the bodyguard because the really. Mm, I would rather play the bodyguard from hand at that point. I would rather be ditching them so that my last deck is better. At that point in the game. I think I, so. The way I'm know. looking all, at all this, the, card, all this talk has just convinced me that this is like, I'm just oh shit, just hit a control Z. I'm this not is like a this is like a B minus. It's like I'm not looking at the power of this card. I am looking at a free play two soul beater for one that healed me. I think that's insane. I think, I think there's a lot of very, cards very that can good. do that. There's not, and though. I think I would there be very, are, very literally not. Reserved what to put cards a are there? This card. What cards are there in this set that do exactly that? That are a three-one heal with two soul. Well, I don't know. I, I haven't seen the whole set yet, so <laughs> I'm not there entirely are. sure. But just evaluating the so, card like in a vacuum on its okay, own, I think so it's a little the, bit lacking. Here's the spoiler: the only maybe, two, maybe in the context of the set, it might be a little stronger. The only two early plays in the set are this and the Shoko. So which th which is the Shoko again? The three two two or less climax eleven five on your turn nine five cross turn heal. Yeah, that's way better. What's the what's the condition? Is it two or less? Two climax? or less. So this is when you're not at two or less because you're a standby deck. Hey, you're, you're jumping ahead. We haven't gotten that card yet. <laughs> you're well. We no, we, we did it last it. time. Yeah. 
So oh, you're milling a lot. You're incentivized to mill a lot in standby, which is what makes this card yeah. better. You want to have I a think, large I think if you're milling a lot, you can hit a refresh easy. So I think two or less is pretty easy to hit. But then you don't have something to stand by because you're on fresh deck. Just discard something. You have a bunch no. of ways to discard stuff. Well, then oh. that requires you to hold the cards in your hand. That's the best part about playing standby is that your your entire waiting room is a threat. Like... Ugh, like, I just don't care about the power printed on this if, card If I'm playing all. a standby deck and my early play condition is four or more characters, I'm thinking to myself, I'm overplaying something when I play the standby. I'm losing value. If I trigger a standby, I'm minusing. I oh, I'm don't think overplaying matters. My, my plus is not a plus. It's now... Well, because you always like think about playing standby from hand. You can trigger standby. That's what you makes can. standby and good. And if you trigger standby, you have no, no open spot. You're playing over something. Yeah, but you're not. It goes minusing. from being a straight plus to being, I'm kind of upgrading this character. You're no, you're not kind of. You are upgrading the character. Yeah, it's going from being completely overpowered to being kind of good. I still think this is so good. I don't care about the power that's printed on this card. It's two soul in a deck that doesn't play global soul at level one. It is a two soul beater that healed you and played for one. That's so good. I don't care how much power it has. It could have a thousand power. I'd crash it every single turn. I don't care. The only good thing about this card, in in my book, is that it heals you. Uh, Otherwise, why are you playing so, this card? Why are you, you can so play harsh a two, two, on this 9K, card? A two two vanilla nine k. That doesn't heal you and plays for one more stock. Why? Like, why well, yeah, are you so transfixed on the power? It doesn't matter. It, this isn't gonna live cross turn. This Who isn't a long term investment. Who I cares? Can't. It doesn't. That's. I don't think that's the right way to think about the standby card at decks. All. Care yeah. about board. Mm. <laughs> this card doesn't hold board well. But you're at level two. The game's not going to go much longer, anyways. Okay, think about it this way, Andy. You just played. If you're playing a standby at level two, you're standbying what? Of your own words, Futaba. What does Futaba have? Yeah, I'm have? standbying the level three target. Yeah. What does Futaba have again? Great performance. At level three. Yeah, how do they hit at this level thing? At level three, Carmen. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Still, I don't care about power, like, on this card at all. I don't, it could, I don't think it we could have 500 power. Longer. I think you're going to try to convince me for the next half an hour that this card's you good. You are going to convince each other. And I'm going to yeah. take it from a B- minus to a C+. Plus. So oh I think we should God. just... I think we should just go to the next card. Fine. All right. Whatever. Agree to disagree. I, I don't agree to disagree, but that's fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My Sakurajima, Irreplaceable Existence. Uh, on play, uh, mill two, deal X damage to your opponent, where X is equal to the number of level two or higher characters from among them. Climax combo, when this attacks, if the gate, I think, is in your climax zone, you may deal one damage to your opponent. And when this card's from attack, send it to memory. That is mandatory. And it's off gate, and it's three. Card, it's three it's soul. Fantastic. It's three it's soul. Three soul. Jesus. Yeah, it's three oh, soul. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's three soul. So you burn one, then hit for four. So it sets up sides. It's so on pl on play. It deals X damage. Yes. On yeah. attack, it deal it pings. And when they front you, it so, goes to memory, meaning they don't get an on-reverse effect. I think the normal case... And the condition to run this is running a Ricky? That's obviously good on its own? Not Rick Rize, but yeah. Yeah, Rize, Still that's good. obviously good on its own. Well, you don't even have to run, that's not even run this card. Yeah, yeah it's like it's free. It. This card's you great. Just, you can just play it from hand. Why would you play any other finisher in this set? This is incredible. Well, I think it plays directly against the... You, okay, number one, you have to build around it. You have to run a lot of level twos and threes, which is whatever if you're playing standby, I guess. So if you're playing standby gate, but I think that when you run this card, it becomes very hard to run the Futaba, the the great performance. So I think, especially That's in English... That's fine. You just yeah, kill yeah, them yeah. that turn. Yeah, I think... I think <laughs> and deny their on-reverse combo. I think that if you're playing this, especially in English, you're playing a more aggressive build. You're not playing the one that play, aims to field the bodyguard. Because when you think about it, this hits the field. What's the best case? It pings one in main phase, pings one on attack. Then 
you are attacking for four soul base. So you're incentivized to side because you'll side for on average two, right? So you yes. side for two on average, then it will go to memory. So it damage buffers. Dude, dude, the knowledge is power. Think how many times. All right. Recall the number of times Zach has played you and has played a Mikasa and he's pinged you for one and you're like, fuck, I'm out everything now. Yeah, this no, lets you I'm, do that during the main phase. I'm not so saying if, if they're out everything, you confront them for like four. No, main paid main phase ping for free is very good. Uh, it main phase burn two is even better. Main like, phase burn for free on attack, burn for free, not on reverse on attack. High on attack, yeah. And then it has like evasion to stop their combo, and it's off a of fucking gate, dude. This card is yeah, s. The, yes. the three, uppercase S plus the three soul. Great. I'm not ready to grade it yet. The three souls a drawback, mm. not a positive. You can always side attack uh, if you're playing the climax combo. It's crazy. If you're free, playing but... the climax combo, you can side attack it for one every time. I guess so. You, you can. Might. So you're pinging one one one. Oh, that it's is like really good. Damage. I'm trying and the to the fact pay. that you do half the okay. ping in main phase. So I'm not disagreeing with any of you. I'm trying to. I'm trying to play devil's advocate. Um, good luck. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, <laughs> no, this card is very good. I do think that it requires a build around for you to get the most out of it. So <laughs> build around and you just play a reason. It's already good. No, oh. there are more. There are more cards that have to do with this card. There's a two one. There's a there's a three one event that pulls this card from memory. So the full value of this card, right, is you play a finisher out. God forbid they don't die. You're holding another set of 3-1 events. You can pull them out of memory again and burn again. Because the burn's on play. You don't need the climax to do it. <laughs> Carmen, I thought this card you could just play from your hand and do it. You're telling yeah. me I could play it from other places too? Yeah. yeah. You can bring it's it from memory. Add another plus onto that. <laughs> this is yeah. fantastic. <laughs> it's definitely good. It requires oh my a build. Goodness. It runs directly up against the Futaba, but I still think it's very good. Like in English, I think builds that are going to run the Futaba are going to run the Nodica that we'll look at in a couple cards. I don't think they're going to run the Mai because the Mai requires such a big package to effectively play. Like you can play it from hand, it's still good. Um, but I don't know. The Nodica does bounce too. Which is important when Goblin Slayer comes out. So, uh, but yeah, it's just one of two good reads she can take the deck basically. S minus requires a lot of <laughs> slots. Unbelievably good finisher. Pinging is so good in the end game. Um, I feel like we're very biased because we have so much AOT running around and losing to like ping a climax e four. Is like is something that we are all very familiar with, dude. I'm the guy who hates gate trigger, and I'm saying this card is busted. S plus plus plus. It is good. Um, I don't know. In all honesty, though, like I think the three soul, the three soul is the big spook with this card, right? Three, so three soul is kind of like I three wish soul it was is only super soul. spooky because it means you can't even clear like garbage. You have to side garbage. But then like you can you can also just side attack too. It only becomes an issue if they leave you no spots. I guess it always five, goes right? to memory. It always goes to memory and it doesn't leave a reverse. Wait 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 wait. This card doesn't leave a reverse. No matter what. No matter what. Oh no 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 no. Straight S. Whoa, whoa, yeah, hold yeah, on, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. If if you're direct attacking with this, it's for at least four, and that's if you're not comboing. Okay, just don't direct attack with it. Basically, the worst case like, scenario for like, this okay, card okay, is okay. a field if of zeros. Leaves you, or an if empty. you're pinging, if if you're you're pinging for field. one on attack, I think that playing this down, pinging in main phase and pinging on attack for free, and then dealing a giant instance of damage where you set it up where you expect it to cancel, where then you yeah. swing in for two or three on another lane, like to follow that up. Because like it's you, statistically... you either ping off their climax and slam them, or you clear a climax guaranteed with a four or five soul you're swinging and then get them with yeah, the Yeah, like one. I was looking at it from the negative point of view. The positive point of view is that you ping off a climax and then swing for four and it sticks. All right, Brandon. Tell them why I'm so right and he's so wrong. <laughs> you, okay, three soul, 
We're gonna compare it to the only deck I play, Konosuba. We still. <laughs> Brandon outing himself. We don't even have to do it for him. Okay, go ahead. You just slam them for three plus soul, and it will stick because that's what happens. And <laughs> they'll eat four right. eventually, dude. They'll I'm eat four you. eventually. Words you don't even have to pay the decompression. Hey, it's four damage is gonna hit him for. You're gonna deal like probably for at least four damage to them, and that's after you ping them twice. <laughs> The fact that this card this says is this is three level. instances of damage level. from one card. I don't even uh, I don't even care about the damage. Another ping and defensively. Four. Th so this is the reason I went from and S minus. And defensive capability. S minus to S flat. The fact that this card sits in a lane and says I am a damage buffer and will not give you a reverse. That's so good. Like it just removes itself when front attacked. No no backup. Nothing. It's gone. And you have the option to get it back if you want. Yeah, and you can you can play it again if you want to dedicate cards <sighs> this to the card advantage. This card's incredible, dude. What's higher than S? Like, double S? Like, element of PQRS. T? I can't, T tier. I can't, T believe, I can't believe Andy loves a card that's off gate. This is <laughs> And the fact that it's off gate is even better. It's yeah. so good. Why would you not run this card? Uh, uh, if you want to run again, I think the slots thing with Futaba is yeah. what makes it awkward. Otherwise, if you, yes, ha I if you agree. have a waifu who is worse than this card and you want to run a deck around her, you hey, play hey, okay, okay. Futaba's fine. I don't know. She's any not my. So She's sure not she my. But like, okay, I'm not saying this card. This card's great. Obviously, she is the bunny girl senpai. The bunny girl senpai. The bunny girl. I think it does kind of force you into playing standby at one though. Like, how do you play this with a more normal okay, zero and has, one game? I think this card. Okay, hold on. I think this card has bad standby synergy. First of all, no. You only get no. the you only get the burn when you play it from hand. You'd the, probably want to no, no, like no. You don't. You don't understand. You never stand by this card out. I'm talking about of the. Not. I'm talking about the profile, the deck profile that would play standby naturally has more level twos and threes. And the Kaide is like a very good plusing combo off of a standby which i think this kind of like leads you into playing standby gate because what's the alternative book gate or uh either book gate or wind gate neither of which combo is like very good versus the kaide combo which is like objectively good where even if your opponent completely bricks your combo you still stand by to level two which also activates your my like i feel like this goes in a like it's kaide my like standby gate for sure is there some sort of like union combo with this no like no no no, no, no. there's no stock building combo in the set absolutely not other than that shoko that we looked at that just adds two on climax play that's it e even still i wouldn't want to stand by this i would want to like have a normal plusing combo at again one, and then stand I'm... by the and, and then pull this from memory and from hand. I'm oh, not talking wait. about... Please stand by. We don't stand by this we card. Play, we play this card in a standby deck. We don't stand by this card. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the ratios of a standby deck lead into playing this card because you're playing more twos and threes. It is more likely to burn two on play for free in a standby list because of oh, the that, ratios. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Like, I feel like... In English, the list we're gonna see are like wind in this card, book in this it's, card. It's you. It's solid U tier. U minus, but U tier. All right. Okay. Let's All right. On. Next card. Let's just move on. on. Andy, next card. Okay. Who's this character? Uh, Notica. Notica. Yeah. Notica's married life. N yeah. <laughs> Final five hundred exists, and when you play climax card, you choose a character that get a thousand power. This is the most powerful married life that they'll ever print in english look at this art well, well, well hold, on, hold on hold on why look at this art it's pretty nice it's quite slight novel art look at it appreciate it look at it just like you're showing the armpits like yeah <laughs> <laughs> all you armpit stands this card's for you <laughs> But no, like in all in all seriousness, you're playing. Oh my God! If you're playing this card, you're probably playing Kaide. Kaide is a 55 base. Uh, standby does not give global power. This is a pretty good way to pump your Kaide. If for some reason you aren't running green to run that level one Futaba, 
the one that like uh Tsushima Kai gives something uh field all your other on field the 2k um this is like a decent alternative like a one of tech there was a guy at uh WGP who was like preaching running this as a one of in Albuta that like we were talking to before the event started I don't remember his name I'm I'm terrible with names um, but he was talking about running it as like a one of or two of to like set up Kaide or something. I can't exactly remember. Oh, was that the uh, Darling and the Franks guy? Um, I don't think so. No, he was he was playing Albuta that day, but he was, was it Fort guy. He was running this card. Don't do not remember. I, again, I do think having a married life in your set is good. And most sets have them these days, and this has very very powerful art. Um, B plus. Very, very Power, powerful. Powerful art and like if you, if you have a on reverse combo, the powerful art makes this a B plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Brandon, any thoughts? Brandon. Yes. Um, sorry, hold on. I'm rescuing my cat from Robert's room. Hold on. <laughs> He's the worst. I can't believe this is gonna I'm go. So this is gonna go on the video. <laughs> I miss yeah. Brian. I miss Brian so much. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't live up to Brian's glorious skills, apparently. <laughs> All right, Brian, so what, what, about do you, what do you right think, now? Brian? Brian, you're there. doing fine. You're doing great. You're agreeing with everything I say. You're doing great. <laughs> it's hard. Uh, it's climax. Just Actually, like, that's there. all it does. <laughs> That's all it does. Oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't destroy your opponent's deck state. I actually will not play this card. I actually will not play this card. Yeah, because it's okay. not fucking a uh, free fresh or a uh, free Amagi or an oversized that can't die or a bomb that you encore. Or, uh, uh... Is Andy agreeing with me? Is that what I see here? In my solidarity with Brandon. To be, to be honest, though, like I play a lot of sets with uh, Married Lives. And I never find myself running it. It's it really like, depends it, it, on the it's set. Only good if you're, it's only good if you're running an on-reverse combo. Okay. And in the scope of the English metagame, your on-reverse combos are swinging into errands, which are, like, less good. Not all like, the time. It, it, okay, no, if, no, if you're really. watching this video and you're a JP player, this card's probably, like, a B plus. But if you're an English format player and you're queuing into Attack on Titan... All the fucking time, this card gets worse. Let's be honest, the English yeah, it does get worse, but Aaron. I don't think that you need to have like on attack combos. I don't, I don't think no. that that makes this card a whole like sub letter grade worse. Like I don't think it makes it a life, sub grade. I don't think married, it makes it a sub letter, but I don't but think it's like fantastic. We have the only cards in this set, like that you're gonna beat over anything with, are, like these level one climax combos. Hi, Dave. Kaide Koga, or like, I guess the Futaba is like a 8-5 Shimakaze on Climax play, so I guess that doesn't count. That's more than enough power. But this is still really good for Kaide because she's only a 55. That's why I'm giving it the B+. Plus. Like, it's the same color as Kaide, and it gives her the enough power. It oh, okay, sends her to okay, 7. Okay. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm running a standby deck, right? Yeah. I probably want to have a back row slot open for like a level assist or it something. It doesn't stronger need to, to be open, spot. dude. It doesn't need to be open. And it's like if I have a brainstormer in my other spot, this is occupying the spot next to it. It doesn't need yeah. to be open. It also doesn't it, need to. It be It doesn't in the need back to be, row. but that's that's your highest value play. Is if you're playing stand buying a card into an empty slot. But you're also playing a level one combo off standby that pluses you. So breaking even to also get a reverse and neg your opponent one is more than worth it. Oh my god, shut up, Windows. <laughs> I don't know. I, th I think it's a good card. I think Married Life is a, it's a strong profile on a card. I just think B-plus is a little generous. I think it's like a definitely a playable card, but it's not great, you know? It's just all right. I'm, I'm with Brandon. Like, I probably wouldn't play this in a deck. I'd probably play, like, another, like, Brainstormer. I'd, I'd or play, like this, another if I, I'd play yeah. this if I needed the power. Like, that's the thing. Like, if you need... We're not... 
we're not saying if you run this like the grade of the card isn't because that you're gonna run it in every single deck like if you need the power in your local meta and you're playing against weirdo level one walls and you want to beat over them with something small like kaide this is a great card to tech into your deck yeah, that's that was my reasoning as well. It's it's a very good card to have available in the set. Yeah, just it doesn't have to be a card extra, you run in every deck. A little bit of extra power. Yeah, I probably won't run this card either, to be honest. But yeah, I, I that I'm still giving it a B plus because if I need it, I'm very happy to have it. Yeah. Okay, I'm we're good. we're arguing bef between a plus and a a minus at this point. We should. Right. Be, yeah, we need, to, we need to move on. <laughs> Okay. All right, you get the bomb, Carmen. All right. Um, what is this? Kaide loves her brother. Is that what this yep. is? Um, when this is played on stage from hand, it gains 1,500 power, so it's a 3K. And then when it becomes reversed, uh, you get to bomb your opponent. So just reverse it. If it's a level Oversize. zero. Oversize on play, Tom. I like uh, that it's basically an oversize, and you get to kill something with it, and then... They have to swing back and do your bomb. It's like Ooh. a great going second play, but it's bad yeah, going yeah, first. Yeah. I would rather the first ability be anything else. I'd rather it give that power. I'd rather it pump on attack, like the um the Koga. I feel like that Koga bomb in green is just straight up better than this, especially because it's a clock reverser instead of a re just normal reverse. I don't think it's bad. Um, I... I think the abilities are playing against each other. I'd rather that that 500 power be spent on literally anything other than that first ability. I agree with you. I think the um, I think this is only good if you're going second. I think it's really good if you're going second. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a little lackluster if you're going first. Well, I, I'd, I'd extrapolate even further. This is really great going second if you don't expect to put your opponent to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you're going first and you play this on your second turn. Mm -hmm. This is like, uh, this is like, uh, your opponent played something already and then you play this. Card. Yeah, your opponent like your fielded yeah. something that wasn't an oversize and wasn't a runner. You get to kill it and have evasion into your opponent's next turn. That's, that's like pretty good. But like, would I run this over the generally better Koga? With more relevant effect. Which, which one's like, the... What's the Koga do again? I'm the sorry. The Koga's on attack, pump 15, and to any character, including herself. And then, uh, Clock Reverse. I think that's objectively better. Especially in English, where, um, Conan exists at zero. I'm gonna. I'm yeah, gonna. Yeah, yeah. I I agree with you. I agree with you. I'm gonna give it a C plus. I'm. I gotta see what I gave that other card. I gave that one a B. So I. I think this minus. is objectively worse. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like it's it's cool. I just think in the context that you play the card, I think it's not as good. I agree. B minus. Either a B minus or like a C plus. Yeah. I, I'd go B minus. It, at baseline, it's still just a suicider, which is. It's but. fine. Yeah. All right. Next card. All right, Brandon. This is oh, Brandon. All right. All, All right. This is uh, Kaide, Azu Sagawa, Nasuna, and Greeting. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, can't sign what, did, what did you What did you want to call it, Brandon? Go ahead. Oh. On hoodie who likes cats. Good job. Because that's what it looks Perfect. like. Yep. Panda girl loves cats. Here we go. Anyway. Can't side attack and climax combo when Asano is in climax, you salvage. 50, 55k. One soul. It's not one soul. It's it's so it's a standby. This is weird. This is a standby, and when you play the standby, you salvage. You reverse. So this, this is the card we were talking about before, right? Yeah. This Where is the, you uh, uh you get a standby and then a salvage. That's very yeah. interesting. And you could probably like stand by a a pump card behind this, like a level assist or a uh, some sort of power card behind this. 
to get your reverse. This yeah, card is level one. This level card one is combo. completely broken. Yeah. Any plusing combo on a standby that like a conventional plusing combo, like an on attacker on reverse, like plus from any zone, is fucking broken off standby. I'm sorry, that's too much value. You're ramping the game in your favor and also refilling hand. That is so stupid. Even if That's all this idea. card does, even if all this card does is snipe zeros and standby, it's busted. Like, the entire idea behind this card where we're going to print a conventional plus and combo off a of standby climax is dumb as fuck. That's so I, stupid. I, I agree with you. I think the fact that if, if you have any on reverse combo, right, you're probably trying to poach the level zeros. To begin with. In English, for sure, right? Yeah, like, yeah for sure. Yeah. like, And it, this is also starting at vanilla stats. Like, think about it. This could have started at 4K. It's starting true, at 55. Yeah. It's starting but, I mean, at 55. The, the, the Climax doesn't give power, though, so... Well, the Futabas in the set, they have a Shimakai, like something that can pump. It'll pump for 2K, so you can reasonably attack for 7, 5, or 8, like, pretty consistently. Like that's trying to hit two colors at one. It's pretty easy, and if you're clock, if you're in the situation where you're clocking yourself up to one, and playing red, you're probably sniping zero, so it doesn't matter. So you either play this alongside the Futaba, that's a bomb clearer. Oh jeez, you're, yeah. you're sniping zeros and standbying a level two. It's so dumb, right? That's, that's pretty it's good. It's so fucking good. Like, ugh. That's pretty good, yeah. Like, the entire idea behind that. this card as a design is really dumb. Like, plussing combos off standby is just something that shouldn't exist. It has to be some sort of weird garbage, like um, Silica Zero, for it to, like, be balanced in context of Weiss as a whole. Like... This is just so fucking good. Or a finisher. Like, we don't see this a lot, and I think there's a very good reason why. I think this is very, very strong. And most decks, even in English, you're going to see this. Because this is this is just too much value. It's too much. I'm going to give it I'm Zach, gonna give I, it an I S. don't have any more money. Please tell me why I shouldn't pre-order the set. There aren't any pre-orders left. <laughs> I don't even know if that's true. I think. Tell me something can. bad about this card. Anything. Uh, you can't side attack with it. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> yes, it is. Technically, it is. Look at it. Adorable art. Broken design. You'll go to jail if you own this. How about that? That's that's a bad <laughs> thing. Go to jail. Why I, yeah. High Day's a great character. Come on. That's the don't best. Worry, well, don't worry, was... Brandon. Zach doesn't you know guys, the court system. You guys... He doesn't know what he's talking about. You're fine. You guys, ha <laughs> you guys haven't seen the show, but like Kaida is a great character. Like, I don't know. Is she, all... wait, is she the one from the green cards too, with a little thing in her hair? She's no. on Karma's car. No, yeah, she's yeah, on my um... car. Yeah, <laughs> the one with the T in her hair. The I do have some thing. screaming. No, no, no. She's the hair. That's wings. Koga. That's Koga. Uh, Koga's better, but this card's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I've don't know. We're all kind of like jumping on the S train, but like again, I just think that the whole design philosophy behind this card is just completely skewed. Like I think this is just too much. Like in the way that Weiss is played by people who are good at the game, this card is so dumb. Like like, idiots will see this card and say, How do I get a reverse with 55? So bad. Idiot. Like, like but... The the sell all of your cards. The idea behind it. To me, for it, a cheap price. The idea behind it is just so stupid. It's really good. Yeah. Alright. Alright, Zach. Yeah, next, all next right. card. Uh, let me find it again. It is... Nautica, yeah. I just picked on Kaida again. Let me fix that. Uh, yeah, Nautica Toyahama, active high school idol. Uh, when it is placed on stage from the effects of a change or from hand, draw a card, ditch a card, then choose one of your opponent's characters and bounce it. Uh, climax combo, uh, on attack, if the uh, 
if a different gate is in your climax zone and you have another, and you have another adolescence character, you can pay one, ditch one. If you do, you can up to all four cards from top of your punch library. Choose up to four of them, put them in the waiting room, shuffle the rest back, and this card gets a thousand power. So normally I hate these. I'm yeah, on I'm on right. record as hating these. Juna I think sucks. Like this is the same thing, but it, even in English, draw one, ditch one, bounce is a really good come and play effect. Yeah. Because Goblin Slayer is gonna exist, right? Even now, that's really that's pretty solid. I think this is the gate card you run if you're running the Futaba great performance because this, it, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't require the slots that the Mai requires um and it bounces like opponent threats and then decompresses them it's just the, like the decompression part is just a bonus on the card it's still definitely boring though in a vacuum it is like it's... this is just this is just boring <laughs> stupid pay one ditch one do you know what it bad, is from? It's just Have bad mocha. That? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Or let me scroll up here. It's possible. Maybe it was it. Carmen's looking for that. Yeah, go I think ahead. that this is on gate trigger, which is pretty nice. And then um, I don't know. I like decompression finishers, and the fact that this gets better in multiple. I found it. Like, it's a, like it's you, a three, two you decompress healer. them, you decompress them, and then afterwards you shuffle. So even if you whiff your decompress, the next one of these that attacks gets to try again to decompress. What was it, Carmen? It's a three-two healer on play. A yellow three-two okay. healer. Yeah. All right. And the the cost to change is just sack it. All right. So like you stand by the three-two. The, the the other one, and then you turn it into this, right? Mm -hmm. You can. Jesus, Brandon. Brandon. Mm -hmm. Um, let me double check the cost. Um, I believe it's waiting room. I think this is deceptively powerful. Just looking at it, mm -hmm. and the fact that in multiples of this, on the final swing, you're gonna be hitting like a completely yeah, free it does, deck. It does. Basically. It does change from waiting room. Yeah, I found it too. So, yeah, waiting. The fact that it changes from waiting room is pretty good. Um, I still don't think you run that card when you're running. Yeah, and the Futaba build. I think you just play this from hand. It bounces something, like puts your opponent behind, decompresses them. Maybe, maybe decompresses them. Yeah, like maybe decompresses them, but like you're that, playing. That's the... You're playing, like, a bodyguard, like, okay, so, like, I think the Hellboard that you can, that you want to play is you have the bodyguard on field in the center. Brandon, can you, like, stop echoing? Um, they have the bodyguard, they have the bodyguard in the center lane. They have the two Koga backups in the back row that are plus 2k. And then your quote unquote finisher is playing two of this Nodica in both side lanes. So that you put your opponent super behind because you want them to swing onto you so you can like pay one, pitch one, burn them. And then you're decompressing them. Like you're making their deck worse. Like I think this plays into like the stall strategy of yeah. the uh, the Futaba very well. Uh, Versus... Okay, so, so as good as I think this card is, like on its own in a vacuum. I think I'd be very hard pressed to play this over the bunny girl. You mean my? The, the what? Whatever the, the other one finisher, I gave that yeah. really high rating before is the my, my finisher. Like this, this card's great. Don't get me wrong, but if you want a card off, if you want a combo off of gate as your finisher, why wouldn't you just run the other card? I just wish this card I was like a they, different color. I think they fulfill very different roles. Um, I, like if this were a green card to go alongside the uh, the um, bodyguard, I think it would be. A lot I don't stronger. think it needs to be green though, because in the bodyguard build, you're probably running standby, so you can run an eight red climax for lineup and not feel bad about it. I don't think the color of the card is relevant. I think this card supports the Futaba bodyguard very well. Like 
by design, I think it's just very good. Like, this is a grindy card for a grindy deck. It's just so easy to splash in the other one, though. Like, why would you run this over the Mai? It's so easy to splash. Because the Mai just won't hit its first effect if you don't build around it. Come on, you, you burn for one guaranteed. Uh, right? No, on a, hold on, on, a, the, on X attack with the climax, equal to a level yeah. four or higher. Do you want to be swinging for three if you're playing a bodyguard, though? Because yes, I want to no, swing no, for no, three. Gonna, I want to burn gonna you for Andy, one on attack, and Andy, I want to ping you for one on play. They're going to have open lanes if you're playing a bodyguard. I feel yeah, like I feel like decompression in that sense is more valuable. Like I'm I'm not saying that's a hit against Mai. I think Mai's an ab amazing card. I think this supports the Futaba build more, where your game plan is to field the Futaba and two Kogas in the back. I feel like this supports it with less. You you have to dedicate less slots to Mai. So, I just I just don't agree with that. I think the the only slot you have to dedicate to the my finisher is the Rize, which is worth running. You don't even. On there's own. more. No, 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 no. You can't. You you're putting the your finisher in memory where you can never play it. You have to play an additional card. What's what's the other card? I'm. It's, it's a event. three I'm one you. event that you have to draw because this event this deck has no event tutor or event grab. Is it, is it a red event? I just want to like get yes, to the end. Yes, it is. It. A, it is a red event. It is all the way at the end. Have some power for the turn. Yeah, hmm. like I, okay, okay, okay. It's about slots when you're when you're dealing with the Futaba build because you need to you want to run all these other cards that support your bodyguard. That that's my big argument. Like, I think it's a choice. But if you're going to play my gate in your Futaba deck, your Futaba deck is getting a little clouded because you're just playing the Mai from hand. You're not setting it up. You're probably not even playing the Rize because you don't want to send the Mai to memory because you don't have the space to run the 3-1. You don't have the space for it. Like, And that's why this is better in the Futaba build because you don't have the deck slots to run the Mai package. Okay, okay. So if you if you want like to maximize deck spaces, then this is the more efficient card in terms of deck spaces. Yeah, yeah. That's like my whole but argument. I, I would still argue that the other that the Rize into the event is still stronger, like as a whole. For sure. I'm not saying it's not strong. Well, like the the argument was never that this is a bad card. This is a this, this card is a, very clearly a good card. This card in English gets so much better when Goblin Slayer is a threat, because you're bouncing, you're bouncing, uh, you're bouncing Priestess main face, which means her event doesn't proc. That's true. That's true. But Goblin Slayer's not out yet, so like in context of the current metagame, I'd give it a A. I'd give it an A. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a, a good card. Yeah. Yeah. I um, think if we see Goblin Slayer become a significant part of the metagame, like, completely dominant, then this gets a lot better. Again, I just think the decompression is a bonus on top of the rest of the card, which is pretty good. Um, and it's on gate. Gate's good. The fact that the trigger is the same for both of these makes evaluating them a lot harder. Like, you don't even have to think about the trigger it's tied to. It's just, like, a straight plus. Like, I was, like, brewing the Futaba build, and I ended up running, like, just two of this, even though I'm running the gate. Where the gate is mostly empty, the decompression is just a bonus. That was, like, my whole idea. All right, let's move on. Gandhi, this is you. Um... I don't know who this character is. No, no, no. But at the start of your opponent's really draw phase, card. reveal the top card of your library. If it's level one or higher, you can return this to your hand. I fucking <clears throat> love coin flip zeros. This is my favorite beater profile, like that exists in Weiss. I love coin flip zeros. 
if the if the Nodica runner, the three K mill runner, wasn't so perfect for the deck, I'd run this at four. But because it is, I'll run this at three alongside the Nodica runner as part of my seven beater lineup. This I love I love coin flip zeros. Especially with Kaide in the set, dude. These set up your Kaide reverses because they open up lanes. They get you to one first. Like, they do everything. It's so good. I, I think I, in the context of English where everything is, like, built around on reverses, right? Like, Fate to Bear Aaron is, like, a format warping sort of card where you really have to be cognizant if you have an on-reverse combo, yeah. right? So, like, the fact that this just pops to hand for free, even if you're at level zero still, right, you can still conserve this card. Yeah. This doesn't just stop your opponent's level one combo. This is evasive at level zero. It's like a runner. I say this all the time because I love Summer Pockets. These cards feel so good. Like, this is the best feeling level zero to play when it hits. These coins seems flips. like a great turn one play. Yeah, they're so sure. broken. It's just like, oh, your drop well, what face. Am I missing like, here? <laughs> okay, so Brandon, picture this. I think I've played some of our seems very mad. You play this card. You attack. Okay, you go first. You drop this card. You attack. You get your one stock. Your you your opponent draws a card, and you say, wait, wait, wait. Your draw phase reveal top. It's a level one or higher. This card just goes back to your hand. Okay. You guaranteed get to play it again at worst. But isn't like what the purpose of a brain of a runner is? Okay, Brandon. Imagine that you're playing. A, it is kind of like a runner. It's similar to a runner. But, but imagine it even happen. It's like you might go back to your hand, or it could just be a cost zero. Well, you build nothing. your. Well, that's like a runner. It, it might run, but it might not. That's why I, we call it a Imagine you're coin playing. Flip. Imagine you're playing Konosuba, Brandon. Right, and you're trying to go for your union combo at level one. And your opponent says, oh, you're level one? Hold, hold the fuck on. Uh, oh, this card pops to my hand. You don't get a reverse anymore. Yeah, but not every deck is a reverse deck, though. This is, though. A Most lot of decks are, are reverse. Yeah, the, Most like, are nowadays. this is, that's yeah, not, the, that's not the like context. All of them, and at no. the very least, even against non-reverse decks, this still pluses you. Yeah, you it's a guaranteed it's a plus. Character. If it hits, it's a guaranteed plus. And even in decks that are running a high zero count... If you're running 18 zeros, that's 24, that's 26 cards that whiff. You probably mulligan for zeros. There's at least one on the stage. It's at, it's at worst like a 53% chance to pop to your hand. So it's a, it's a skewed coin flip in your favor. And I can just say from personal experience, coin flips are the best feel, like feeling zeros to play. It feels like you just fucked your opponent over. They can't set up a clean cut. All the cards they play, like, don't do anything because you just got stock and had open lanes. Like, they, you're going to go to one first because they're swinging higher. You're probably playing Kaide, so you're setting up favorable reverses because they're fielding shitters because they don't even have anything to interact with. It's just a very powerful non-interactive zero. So does... um. What's the runner in Bunny Girl? It's the 3k on your turn mill runner. Because, like, this competes directly with that spot, I think. I think you run both, because here's why. <laughs> Picture this. You try field two of this and a runner. Isn't that gross? <laughs> that is pretty gross. They, right. pop, they pop to hand. Like, so, every one of these you field is a spot that you all get a stock, you guaranteed plus with your zero and you open up a spot for your mill runner Jeez, to run that is in. gross that is yeah, really it's gross. so dumb it's so dumb unless like, you whiff and get punished in english especially because you you bait your opponent into giving you kaide reverses that are very strong like i think that's the, too good that's like that's like a game-winning interaction i feel like i attack you three times on turn two and then deny your combo if the if the mill That's runner game winning. if the mill runner was just a twenty five hundred normal mill runner, I would say you run this at four and the mill runner at three. But the mill runner's a three K. So you run this at four. You run this at three and the mill runner at four. I think the card's that good. We're literally so, okay, talking okay, about okay. exchanging one ratio. 
So what did we rate the Mill Runner? What was the Mill Runner rated? I think the Mill Runner was an A plus. It was an S from some people. It then was I think, yeah. You even then I Andy. think this yeah. is like an A plus S minus. I think it's like the same as that card. It's interchangeable yeah. with I'm that gonna, card, I'm but giving you might it an run a plus. all anyways. You yeah, need to so skew I. you need to skew your ratios for to get the most value out of the card. Like IE run fifteen or sixteen zeros. I mean you're but playing you're red though. Sick. You're playing you're red also, though, which means you're running more runners and, and more. Here's high an level. interesting shout out to the boys in Burns one Burn One's Discord. But the the big thing that like people are talking about is like, oh, I was looking at some bang dream lists where people are running the Rinko going flipper and I was like, Oh, is is like is Rinko really hitting that much for you at eighteen zeros? And you're like, Oh, well like if you open a coin flip mulligan a little hey, harder Andy, you're getting in my spot here <laughs> mulligan a little harder for more zeros into your hand that's removing zeros from your deck your coin flips more likely to hit so like you can kind of influence it yourself even with high zero counts so i don't think that hits against the card at all can you Jeez. not <laughs> Me, Danny. anyway it's a good card. It's an A plus for sure. Uh, mm, I disagree. What do you What do you think it is? Yeah, I'm still I'm still unimpressed with it. Explain your logic, Brandon. It's just maybe half the time, maybe slightly more than half the time, it's going to work. The other half the time, it's just a, a two a zero a level zero two K that's just going to die. Well, come again, how bad, this, how bad do these cards hurt you when they don't work? Yeah, how like, bad does actually, it really hurt you? You're down to zero. That's I'd rather it. have a card that I know is it's going to work than a card that might work. A card you know that's going to work, like Swimsuit Megamine, that mills the climax 90% of the time. You know what? That, that, that is wrong. It's true. It, this is like, <laughs> isn't Swimsuit Megamine level one or higher also? Two or higher. Two or higher? But Konosuba and Magic that's not also you runs. Run her, you run her because she's massive and she has... Cheap. Let's early plays. That's why you're right. That that is true. That is true. I do agree with that. Swimsuit Mega means a garbage card, and you just <laughs> shut up, Carmen. You should, it, you, is this is stop playing game. Stop <laughs> playing detonative game. That card is garbage. Oh, stop oh, playing it. Oh my god. All right. Fight me, Carmen. <laughs> I I kind of see what Brandon's saying though. Like a runner is maybe a little bit more. Like a well, normal. Yeah, that's why you run four runners. That's why you run yeah. four runners and three of this. That doesn't make this card bad. That just means you run it at one less because the mill runner is good. I mean, you've maybe, maybe we just me. can't rate it as highly as the mill runner. Yeah. A three k mill runner is. I like didn't rate premium. it as highly as the mill runner. Uh, I'm rating it the same rate as the mill runner because I think these cards are broken in English. Like, imagine playing against summer pockets in English. How how do you what do you do? Like that zero that's game. A, that's is... an unfair. That's an unfair question. I guess uh, it, the fact that this play okay, I'll word it this way: this plays well in an AOT hellscape, and also sets up your Kaide at the same time. So it not only has a good meta call reason for you to run the card, but also for your own like fish bowling deck, sets up a good reason to run the card. That's why it's so good. That's my point. I guess. Hmm. No, you're right. It, it's a very good card. Brandon convinced me to take it down like the plus, but I think it's still like a solid A. You definitely still want to run it, but it's probably not like a four of. Yeah. You probably I mean, run you like don't run it. I mean, maybe run it just with other you know stuff you're talking about. I just I'm not super impressed with it. I All think right. that's fair. Okay, next. All right. This is you, Carmen. All right. Um, so it's a 1-1 backup, it's for 1500 and it sends, when you play it, as long as you have two other adolescence characters on your field, so if you have a fucking board, if you don't have a board and you're playing a backup, I, whatever, um, you get to put the Mayan memory. So this is like an optional part of that My Memory engine. It's another way to send your My to memory. Okay, what's the uh, what's the uh, card that pulls it from memory? I think that's, that's the three-one like event. The three-one event. Thing. We keep talking about it. We'll get to it. The three-one event. Is that the yeah. only thing? Just the event, there not a character. A There's also well. a Sakuda, but like most people aren't playing that in a meaningful it's, count. It's pretty inefficient. At it's very, it. very like it's, it's very, very like a, it's like a punish card, right? 
Where like say, if say you page you ditched you to get it out. Or yeah, something if like, like that. if you see your opponent is out a fuck ton of climaxes because they're bricking, you get to end their lives earlier. <laughs> like that's that's the payoff, I guess. I mean that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but that, does this make this better than the free two K backup? No, I think this no. is I, well. This is a fifteen hundred backup. First of all, C minus. C minus. Like this minus. is this is the definition of niche. Like. I would sacrifice 500 power on my backup and pay a stock to send a card to memory that my Rize sends for free. You maybe mm. pay this to my waifu. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think if you're running like a a my centric deck with that finisher, maybe this is um a little bit worth it. But I'd probably run the fourth Rize before the, I ran the first copy of those. It's yeah, just a small I agree. Part, big it's agree. like a one one fifteen hundred. That's kind of uh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next. Brandon. Brandon. Hey. Uh, which one is this? Panda. Panda. Uh, one one. It's another panda girl here. That says if the sum of levels of the card in your level or. Okay. Card. If the sum of levels of the card in your level zone is two or higher, so it just means level two or more. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so, if you have, so you have to like level up with a level two character. So this is the this is the fucking uh, Saya and Remy. This is the Saya and Remy from Bang Dream. This card sucks. This is a D. I I hate these suck for standby well, decks. Do, do you understand how it works, Brandon? Like the experience. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure. I, I think I do. Okay, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So if the sum of levels of cards in your level zone is two or higher, so like. You go up to level one, right? And let's say you put a level three character into your level zone, right? It, it counts the le combined levels of your level zone. Oh, uh, so okay. If you level up with okay. a high level card, this card gets better. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, these suck. These suck. Yeah, these, stand these, by are back. Are for. these are garbage. I, I hate experience right. requirement one ones. These are really hey, bad. I don't know. It's not a bad standby target, though. It's basically like a Celica. Put it this way, you do not want to stand by at zero in this deck. You want to hold your standby to play it with Kaides because you have a plusing level one combo, which makes this card even worse than it already is. That, that is true. In context of that, D, D fucking minus. Fuck that. Like, <laughs> I closed this slideshow. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I th I still think it's like a seventy five hundred hand on core. That's not like terrible, and you could still stand by it. It's like, the cost, like leveling a level two. Yeah, I mean, you do want to hold your standbys to level one. It sounds like you also want your uh, you want your level twos in your deck because you're playing my, probably right, <laughs> an S tier card. You're remove. Uh, you're gonna you're remove right. a level two from your deck at level God, zero. Why are you so right all the time? <laughs> I'm always correct. It's my passive skill. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> like the longer the base idea of the card in a vacuum, I don't like, and then everything on top of it makes it worse. Like, ugh. It's it's still like decent. It's still seventy five hundred hand on core. You could my you, target. Could, you could play like, it right. Kaide Waifu, I guess. That's All it. right. Be happy about it. Next. Exactly. All right. Uh, my Sakurajima as a lever on play. It's a two-one on play ditch. Uh, salvage a Mai and or salvage a Mai or Nordica. And when it becomes reverse, uh, you reverse your opponent if it's level two or lower. What? I don't know. It's I'm hit, weird. I'm hitting, I'm, hitting, I'm hitting this with the big what. Wait, is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Who's Nodica? Which one is she? Is she Panda? Blonde. Blonde. Which, which, what color? Red, Red or yellow. Red oh, okay, multiple okay, colors. Okay. It's, the, it's the other finisher, Andy. Oh, okay. The, uh, okay, the, the girl we the looked out on the coin for card, seems, yeah. This card seems like garbage. Yeah, this is bad. It this kind is of very is. bad. <laughs> this is actually like, horrible. Ooh, at, this is a 2 1? At Wait, best, she... it's a one cost hand filter. What she what she bond with? I guess Nothing. any Meyer Nodica? Any Meyer Nodica ditch bond, yeah. Well, hold on. The thirty five hundred power isn't like a drawback. F plus. Because if you're playing this card to use as anti change, it's, it's not anti change. Not anti -change. 
Level two, two or lower. Level, level, lower. Two. level two or lower? Yeah. She's a level. Wait, wait. She's a level two bomb. Yeah. Wait. So what's going on in this? Fight? Oh my god. Oh, guys, oh my god. I hate. Can Who you is guys it? Leave. <laughs> Is that Clostic? No. Everybody Steve? in my house invaded my room. It's fine. <laughs> I knew it would happen eventually. I, I could have... We could have a great bit, yeah, but... You're right, yeah, you're right. I left the door unlocked because I expected something more bombastic, right? I, I knew that something more ridiculous would probably happen. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's over. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'll cut parts of that up, I guess. <laughs> no, leave it in. Okay. It's great. I don't know. I think the fact that it's like, it gets any Mai or any Nodoka. I mean, that's some versatility. It's a 2 1 hand filter. There are free hand filters. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. You don't need this card. <laughs> I would rather play the drop searcher, the I green one. I don't think it's an F, though. I think F's harsh. It's F plus. F, D minus. It serves. <sighs> I don't understand why they've made this card. It sucks. Andy, yeah. you remember when I pulled so many cards in a box that I just started ripping them because I thought it was no. funny? This is a card I would rip. That does I'm sound funny, though. <laughs> this is bad. All right. Though. All right, let's move uh, on. Andy, this, this is, is the uh, socket guy that gets that you were looking for. Angry guy, level two. If your level is two or higher, <laughs> this card gets the following ability: uh, act, discard one card from your hand, a waiting room, rest two adolescent characters, choose a my Sakurajima from your memory, and put it on the stage. Oh, that so this is, is the finisher. This is what pulls it back from memory. That's yeah. one. This is one of them. One yeah. of them. Yes. one. Okay, and then during your turn, all your other my Sakurajima get plus a thousand power, and so then also level one them, assist. Other one, either one of them. So either the like on the turn it's played on cancel ping one, or the finisher. What? What's, what's what is Twilight Sky? The, That's on, the on turn it's played if damage is canceled ping one. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's terrible. Like at worst, it's a level assist, and like it's like it also a one powers up. up other stuff. It's like a punish, right? That's what yeah. I was saying before. Like this is a one of punish that you search out with your drop searcher if your opponent is out of fuck ton of climaxes, and you can just capitalize really hard that turn. So check it out. You could get Big Mai at level one. You stand by this angry dude out, and then. You use his ability, his startup, to get the Mai from your memory. Only if you're you level, level two. You have a level three at level one. You can't do it at level one. If you're level, level two or higher. higher. Oh, dang it. Again, this is, a, this is a punish card. Like, it's a one of at best. I don't, I don't you know. know. It's like a level assist. If you want a level assist and you're running the Mai combo, maybe? You, you don't run, run a you don't run a level assist if you're running standby. You run the Koga, which is a two K in front with the pay five heal four. I'm just gonna be a sheep and go with Zach on that. I have no yeah. idea. Yeah, I, I really gonna, don't. Know. I'm gonna say it's niche. Like the fact that it's a general level assist is fine. The fact that it works with the other Mai is fine. I just think this is a very high roll punish card where. You only play it in that exact situation where it saves you, or like really win, like win mores you the game. Yeah, yeah, um, that's why you have the plus. Just be just because it's like niche. You're not going to use it that often, but I think it's worth running as a one of. If you win more, yeah, game, I guess I guess that makes sense, Eric. If you win more of the game off of it, because Weiss is a game where like win more isn't bad because you can yeah you can you actually can win lose, more in this game. You can lose at any time. Um, so like win more isn't terrible. So like a one of tech, if you have the space, since it's a general level assist, it's not useless on its own. It's fine. And, and I mean, <laughs> if if you are running the my finisher, he still is like a plus thousand on top of that. So it'd be like a plus 25. 
Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I, I think the, the first ability is a little deceptive. It's like, maybe it'll be good occasionally, but probably not. But it's still, like, decent otherwise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess C+. Plus. All right, next. Okay, guys, so real quick, um, when we were doing Red before, we're not used to reading, like, these hot seat translations because we don't play a lot of JP. We completely miss the fact that the main ability of this card, the first ability, is actually an act and is recurrable, which I think completely changes the card. Uh, we all rated it like C, C plus before. Um, but I think we should look at it again. Uh, so let me like reiterate. So, or well, well, I guess we've just been over the card. So, um, yeah, so the ability where you pay to ditch a card and rest two adolescence characters and pull Maya to memory, that's an act. And then Maya herself, if you guys remember, goes to memory the second she's frontal attacked. I believe. I believe it's frontal attack. Yeah, when this card is front attack. So this is how you like recur my the turn after. So do, does this uh does the socket of pulling my out, does that trigger the on play mill to burn effect? Yes, it does, yes yeah. it does. Okay. I cool. think that's, that's why, it's, why it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you think about it, you don't have to rest him. So like you can do some shenanigans where like you rest him and another character, uh you pull my out and then like play over something your, you and rest your other shit. two and like yeah so like you can get two turns of two mys pretty easily with four stock mm -hmm. yeah um four stock and two cards yeah like it's it's not easy to get back into the climax but i mean i don't know like pinging for one or two burning for one or two in main phase pretty good pretty good when you can do it again why are there uh, two cards on here again? The red one and the yellow one at the bottom? Um, you can... It the one buffs. the burner. It and gives... the other one is... It gives power, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the yellow one... There's a carrot just gives powers too. Yeah, it can give power to both of them. But it only pulls the red one. The three soul. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so does anybody have any thoughts other than like this like just bumps the grade? To like maybe even like a levels like I, being able I, to recur my i think it is about a level i mean it, it pulls yeah. out a uh a three soul attacker that potentially probably burns on play if you're playing the deck properly whenever you play it well and and can't be and can't be reversed well i'm thinking about it this way you pull it out but maybe you don't even swing with it at that point so you're gonna go down a lot of like cards because do you really want to swing with a three soul beater in the open lane? This, these are like the arguments we were getting or discussing my like herself is the fact that she's three soul and you're also incentivized to run the great performance. Your opponent's gonna have open yeah. lanes, um, more often than not. So like, but still, I think just pulling her field and getting the burn one or two in main phase is like literally good enough, especially yeah, on the turn where you fine, live. Yeah. The turn like those situations where you live, uh when you didn't really like plan to like you you set you set yourself to live but you know sometimes you don't sometimes you do i think this yeah, is I really mean, good i mean you can you can always swing in the open lane just hit them for four and sometimes they eat four yes they'll eat four eventually they will huzzah but yeah i don't know i think you run this as like a one of and in my brewing one of felt pretty okay yeah i mean I, th I think in the right deck i think it's i think it's a i think it's a good card I'm going to give it an A minus just cuz like that is really hefty but I think it's a worth like I think it's worth the cost. Well, I like that you get a early play it at level 2, which is nice, but it's it not... seems like a lot of a investment like if to do it every it, Yeah, it time. seems really expensive. That's, I don't think you do it. I think you do it as like a follow up because like once my say you don't even run the Rize, mm -hmm. so your mind never goes to memory other than when she gets frontal attacked. Mm -hmm. You can't get her back out like ever <laughs> after you play her and it gets front attacked. Um I mean there there's an event that pulls the mind out of memory too. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying like in general after you play the mind, I think this is fine because it's a character you can grab it. You can like yeah. Soko drop search this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm being a little. It. Maybe I'm being a little close-minded here, but I feel like I'd rather just play the Mize on my finishing turn, 
attack with them, and then they don't get their reverse, and then I just play shitters to finish them off. Rather than... Yeah. ...having to rely on this recurrable thing, like starting at level 2 and then just paying all my stock for the rest of the game. So yeah, if they don't have a board, swinging like 2-2-2 two, two, two with 1s, like, isn't that bad. But, like, I don't know, maybe you want to burn I mean, one. I, it's not I even know. a bad target, though. It's he, a level he's like, assist. He's like a level assist at worst, and then he has that bonus effect. So I guess it's a good card, strictly, yeah. from that standpoint. Yeah. It it's has more utility than just I that. like more as the option. Than, yeah. 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 It's good enough as an option, so I'll give it B+. Plus. It's like, if you're yeah, running the combo... I still think it's combo, very expensive, though. If you're running the combo and you have the space, like, I think you, you throw, like, one of these in there. I think like, it's playable. You can stand yeah, by it. Like, yeah. It's definitely yeah. a minus, though. It's a good standby target. Definitely there. an A minus. Yeah, I guess one one thing I want to mention while I'm on my uh, my crusade of flavor, since I didn't get to partake in the last video, is this card is flavorful too. So oh, yeah. this is this, this is the scene where uh, Socket is yelling in the schoolyard. Uh, is he confess- just angry the whole show? No, he's no. confessing his love to Mai because she's invisible in front of the whole fucking too. school. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this when is hi- this is him calling out to Mai. He's invisible. And, and making her visible again from memory. Yeah, I really he like He shouts that. her back into existence? He does. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man, that's fucking stupid. So unlike, I might not watch show. Unlike real Monogatari, since this is Monogatari for Zoomers, it's not cool, like, cool Chad mysticism. It's virgin quantum mechanics. Um. Right, exactly. We don't, we, don't have, we don't have ghost tigers that burn people's houses down here. Yeah. So... Where's Snail Girl? What's her equivalent in this show? Uh, <laughs> Koga? Koga. Sounds like a bad... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like a good show, Brian. <laughs> all right, all right. Next. Uh, Notica, right? Yep. And Notica, yeah, we'll go. Yep. Cannot yeah. side attack. Two one ten k one soul. This was Karma's card, but. <laughs> oh really? Fine. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm reading it. Okay, At the beginning gosh. of your encore phase, if this card's in your front row, return this card to your hand. Choose a level z- zero or lower character from your hand. Put it in this slot rested. I think this was part of a combo that we did. Up to, in up to one. Up to one. It's part yeah. of the. It's part of the Maguro card, where the Maguro, when it's front attack, can pay one change into this card. It's a flavor card. It changes into this. And then, and then at the beginning of the encore phase, so it'll trigger on your opponent's turn because your encore phase happens on your opponent's turn after your opponent's encore phase. It'll pop to your hand, and to not neg, you need to put a level zero in its slot. That's but, not like too bad. You probably have a level zero. I it's think a at, lot, at worst, it's a at lot. It's a lot of slots. This card at worst, really good. this card is a two one ten k. Look at a. Uh, you you play the set Carmen. It's, uh, what is it? Two Lavaru. They have the two one nine K that you run. I do not run that card anymore. The re- the, the sexy. Yeah, the rune. Girl. I cut that <laughs> card because it's garbage. Okay, well, no, it's not garbage. It it's is just, garbage. It's a good card, and you just choose not to run it. That's what you meant to say. I choose not <laughs> to run the card because it's. How bad. is a two one nine five bad? And by that logic, how's a two one ten K bad? This is super efficient, and this, it saves itself. This is bad because of the slots it takes up when you play the Maguro, <laughs> because it's a lot of slots to dedicate to something that it's a two- you have to you have to have a zero sitting in hand to not neg. And what's yeah. the best zero to put down? The coin flip, so that when your when the draw phase comes back up, it pops. Yeah, that, that's no, good synergy. No, that's good synergy though. The zero pops wait, to hand, and then this puts it the zero pop. back down. It's your opponent's. It's your opponent's. Never mind. It, your what opponent. Do you mean? Beginning your, of your encore step. No, front the row. beginning of your opponent's draw phase. It won't have a chance to pop. He's well, talking okay. about the bounce. The okay, bounce. Well, yeah. Think of it this way. Think of it this way. You don't leave him a reverse target at the beginning of your encore phase. If this is front row, two, one, your two, two, encore three. phase occurs on both turns. It does, but you can choose to just swing with this, kill something, and then pop it back to hand and say you have no target. Is that worth the stock? It's a two one ten k. You could, all, if the situation calls for it, you could just leave it there and let it sit there as a big body. But if it, the situation it, it, it doesn't ha- call for it, it, it has to go back to hand if it's in front row. It doesn't have to. 
It does. It does have t- to. If this card is in front row of a turn, oh yeah, it does. So it's you a, can't it's a wall two one you have for one turn. <sighs> like I think this card is this card mo- sucks. No 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 no. It's terrible. It doesn't, it doesn't suck. This card is most useful when you're not playing the Maguro. That's my hot take. You're not playing the level one that changes into this. You're playing this card empty, and you're playing it as a recurrable 10k like field clearer that just pops back to your hand. So like you go even because it pays for itself. It's like a Dirtle card, right? But does Dirtling at level two mean anything in English? No, unfortunately oh, not. Right. It is cool. It's. I cool. thought I thought it was like a your choice, like. Like, you can choose to pop it. Let me but pull I guess up. I was mistaken on let that. me let me pull up the combo again, um, so that I can look at it. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Here we go. So the cost to change it is pay one and sack the one o magro. So Monica, you're not you're me. not avoiding the cost. You're denying a reverse by changing into a ten k at level one. Um. I don't think that's good enough. I think the line of play where you play this as a 2-1 lane clear, clearer that is loopable because it's always popping to your hand and you just fail to find a zero because you don't have to and you leave an open lane, I think that's more interesting than any part of like how you were intended to play it. It's still not good, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a C-. minus. Because, like, if if there does exist a level 2 Dirtle meta at any point in Weiss's, like, history, this is a good card in that idea. Like, that sort of context. Otherwise, it's bad. Alright, next one. Carmen is never wrong, so it must be a C-. Yes. Next. Alright, Carmen, this is you. Alright. This is... Uh, what is, card is this? 64. Uh, Notoko Toyohama, Secret of Memory. All your other My Sakurajima Secret Memory, which is a 003k. Uh, gain 1,000 power, and it clock bonds to it. I hate it. I hate running bad cards. So do I. I hate running bad cards to make other bad cards slightly better. Um, F. Hold up. It, this is still a plus, though. It's a clock bond, so it's still a plus. To uh, 3K, which is basically an oversize, if you recall. If you clock bond to it, it's a 5. 4K. Compare this... It's to, pretty bad, but it's still a Compare this plus. to the Futaba clock bond. Where the Futaba, the Kaoruko that clock bonds to the Futaba 4K two soul. From Revenge In the center lane, yes. Is okay. also an on attack ditch a card, take a character on your field and put it back into your hand. But this pluses you. This is a clock bond. So does the other clock bond. The other clock bond still pluses you. You don't uh, have the Futa- to do... The Futaba clock bonds to the... Kaoruko? The Kaoruko clock bonds to the Futaba 4K2 soul. Well, regardless, it's still a clock bond, so it's not F. It's still like... I guess. It can plus whatever. you. I, I'll, F plus, I'll F plus it yeah. because it does plus you. But it's still garbage. Alright, Brandon, F give it a rating plus. so we can... Give it, give it a letter so we can move on. Give it, give it an A. Right. You great. Next. <laughs> Next. Brandon, this is you. This is all you. All right. Oh, I'm trying to work. There we are. All right. So here we got. I like books. Black hair girl. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the name of this. Is there? Is there? A bu- is there a book in the card? What? Right. Wait. What oh, that is a. Is that a book? I thought that was her collar of her shirt. Brandon, read the fucking card. I thought she had a really right, right. collecting oh, feeling. Never mind. My Sakura Jima. Alright. Assist, roll zeros in front, get plus a thousand. Um, room is the cost. When another of your adolescent characters in front is attacked, you may pay that cost. If so, choose one of the battling characters, gets plus a thousand power. <laughs> 
No, 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 no. This is a field backup. <laughs> it's a limited field backup. It's only field, It's from... a field backup at zero. This is like... This is probably the most meaningful field-based power, like, field-based disruption at zero. Dude, come on. It's a level zero assist. It doesn't matter. It's a, Okay, think about it. Why would you run this over the married life? Uh, question. Uh, does it... Even if you sack... cross turn. Even if you <laughs> sack this, do, you, do, do the characters in front still get the assist? Or do you lose it? And they still keep the no, you'll lose it. Battle set they, happens they lose after it. damage. Yeah. Yo, this is even worse. This is terrible. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's good. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it oh. C. C minus. Just card honestly. C minus. I'm. I'm leaning towards Andy on this one. No, oh. I don't think it's bad. I think this is one of the most impactful <laughs> level zero disruption cards they've printed in terms of power disruption, because it is a field backup for one K that's also plussing for one K. So. Think about it this way. They go for the card that's not in front of this on the side lane, and then you deny it by sacking it. Carmen. You know this they only assists. To, they have to be not... You're saying if they're retarded and swing with the one out of wrong three lanes first. Okay. All right. This fine. card's good. Fine. I want okay. to point we this don't out. use that you word realize... anymore, but okay. You know, did you realize that it's all level zero in front? It's like, it doesn't even help you after level one or after level yeah. zero. Yeah. It's all level zero. Get plus a thousand. Your whole point at level zero Fine. is just to survive Fine. and retain advantage. You're Deep just running plus. away. Deep it literally plus. does nothing after level F. zero. Can I give? What's lower than an F in this one? G. G plus. <laughs> G. God damn, this card's bad. All right. <laughs> all right next card, Zach. Uh, my attacker, Jima, adult charm. On play, if you have five mark maxes in your opponent's res wing room, you have to rest this. Uh, when it comes to reverse in battle, bomb decks itself. 4K level zero. Oh, this is like a free. This is like a free 4K at level zero. That's not yeah. Bad. I think this is like the best 4K they've printed in a long time. Cause like the first, the drawback is literally non-existent. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like if the drawback's bad, you just clock it or just pitch it to a filter effect. Yeah, like, in the late game, it doesn't even matter because you just won't field this card because you could field anything. Um, and in the early game, that literally will never whiff. How bad does your opponent have to open for, for that to for that to go off? You know, from now on, if you I ever have a 5 climax hand, you can just discard it and turn this card off. Okay, well, if their hand's that bad, you're, the game's over anyway, okay? They're just scooping up their cards and walking away. They're walking out of the building, leaving the venue, and you're getting the win. This card's I, pretty I think deep. I think, it's like, yeah. I think it's like a B, but like, why would yeah. you run this over the pop back or the runner? Yeah, an oversize in this set kind of works against all of your level one combos that exist especially considering the pop backs even the same color as this yeah like, like there's really no reason card, but... to run this unless you it's need... a good card not gonna run i don't know yeah. if there's like yeah. some sort of movie set where there's a level one combo that's on attack where you can run oversizes without caring this is pretty good next andy this is you Panda girl without the panda suit. Pandaless girl. When your other Kaida Kaida changing clothes. When your Azusakawa fluffy breakfast is placed on the stage from her hand, she gets oh, five thousand yeah. power. <laughs> so play the one zero vanilla. God, it's, I love this set. So if, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I was laughing at the name. <laughs> it, if when you play the five five, this gets five thousand power. Yeah, it goes to eight k. Yeah. This is pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm wow. gonna yeah, D minus. F minus. F, you think? You'd have to oh. be an idiot to run this. Yeah. You literally have to be like the poorest person in the world and have five dollars in your bank account and still want to play White Schwartz. All right, fine. It's not yeah, for the it's sure an value F, for it's me. An F, yeah. Okay, if if you can't afford a trial deck and you still want to play White Schwartz, this is your card. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Every day of the week. All right, Carmen, you, you actually get the... Uh, oh, my God. You get the God. better half of the card, Carmen. <laughs> What's this card do? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, this oh, is no. Kaede Azusagawa, Fluffy <laughs> Breakfast. This card is cute. Adorable. 
fluffy. It's a cute out of ten. This is an F. <laughs> oh, it's Carmen, cute have you seen AF. The... Okay, Carmen. No, no, no. Okay, vanilla. The... Vanillas are a card. That's a D. It's a card. No, it's not. You're lying. A D minus. No, it's not. I can tell logic. No, it may not. F, F, yeah. <laughs> Car Carmen, what no. is the significance of the uh, panda costume? Okay, so Kaide, so Kaide's, Kaide's mental like like trauma. Cause okay, so Bunny Girl Senpai <laughs> is just Monogatari for Zoomers, so they have to like devolve all the like mental trauma into something that Zoomers can understand because they live on the internet. Um, okay. So, so Kaide is super busted up because like everybody in her school like made fun of her. And she kind of, like, recessed back into herself and, like, reverted into I'm Baby. Um, so, like, Kaede's entire personality is I'm Baby and I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so, like, she develops this double personality where her original personality is completely recessed because everyone made fun of her. And she kind of, like, just sits at home. She's a neat. And uh, she loves her big brother because she's the Aww. only. That's the only person she. She loves her brother. And she loves her cat. And she loves panda. So she wears a panda. Aww, yeah, and the, the that's the actually pajamas, really sad. The pajamas, that's actually really sad. The pajamas, dude. the pajamas, the pajamas make her feel comfortable. So that's why she wears the panda. Oh, pajamas. Carmen. No, you're Kaide, a monster. Kaide, Kaide, you Kaide, give this card an F. Kaide, I'm gonna cry. I can't give it an F now. Kaide, <laughs> is, <laughs> Kaide is actually a great character that like very well subverts the like gross little sister trope and like as someone who like has a little sister like kaide is a pretty cool character because she like turns that trope on its head right that's why i like the character so much wow that that's powerful man that really hit me. that really hit that really hit me right right in the heart does the story right really there. warrant turning the, does the story really warrant turning the f2d though i mean Online, you give F for respect, right? Just Brandon, give F for respect. have a fucking heart, dude, okay? Have a fucking <laughs> compassion and bone in your body. To D. Alright. None. All right. Next card. Brandon. Okay. That's me? Alright. Here, we got Waifu Who Stares in My Soul. She... This card cannot be... It's a 2-1. This card cannot be chosen as the target of your opponent's effects. Hex proof. And when it becomes reversed, if the level of... Battle point is higher than the level of your opponent. Remember, so it's a anti early play. This card Hex sucks because there's a two one Choco that bottom decks when it dies. But does that have hex proof? Hex proof is a completely useless cost on a card you do not expect to live. Carmen, first. only only a Sith deals in absolutes. <laughs> <laughs> I say that because she's wearing the uh, Star Wars <laughs> robe. Because she's wearing the black hoodie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is not great, but it's better than the other... I don't know. If you need a red fix and you can't afford to run the blue much better bomb... I guess, yeah, like niche. It's it's C. like it's like a C. It's like a C minus. You'd you'd rather run the other one, but if you I'm just gonna don't agree. Have that color in your deck, it's a C minus because the first effect is worthless. Yeah, like the first effect is completely worthless. It is. What are the other early pay heats in this set? There is a two one ditch two yellow anti chain counter, and then there is a two one blue. Uh, bottom decker bomb. That's it. Like yeah. the bottom decker bomb is just better than this. The yeah. only reason you can run this over the bottom blue. deckers because you don't have blue in your deck. If you can field blue, you play this. I don't know. I'd play the anti change counter over this card because the mind game of threatening the anti change counter is often stronger than playing the anti change counter itself. Versus mm, where know. like that's like all that's a whole different can of worms, you know. Yeah, but this is like, like way more efficient than an anti change counter, but you have to take a hit from the big character first. Yeah, I agree. So it's it's a trade off. Next card. Zach. ID as you said, Gawa confidence for tomorrow. Uh, it's two one the shroud. Uh, all your other adolescent characters get a uh, get one K, and you can rush two of your characters, choose a card in double zone, and swap them. So it, uh, 
Ugh. Is there some like is there like an early play level condition like no or maybe like some of the experience cards maybe that could yeah, be yeah this good, is or... this is supposed to assist with the experience but I'm guessing wait, this is a, wait, this is a it... two one or the experience yeah. is level two one that seems very good yeah, it's just, that's experience Ugh. you have to set up at level zero I don't know hexproof doesn't mean anything because it's a back row card. It's, like, um, it's not like a, global, it's not a terrible standby target though. Global a thousand is whatever, and it does help. Like it, it plays around. Like if you're playing three or four color, I guess it helps you fix. I'm gonna say it's niche minus. I think it's almost terrible. Um, yeah. The fact that it is a decent enough like global thousand that we don't always see sets don't always have global thousand two ones. Um. And it has, like, a meaningful act effect. Like, makes it an okay, I don't have anything better to stand by, stand by target. So C-. minus. I don't know. I, th I think the act effect is pretty irrelevant, probably. Yeah. You'd have to be running a jank for a color deck to really need that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not disagreeing. But, I don't know. Like, a, a global, global 1000 is, like, a decent standby target. So, I don't know. All right. Next. All right. You get the first of it, Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh la la. Counter, choose one of your characters, and they get the following ability. When this card is sent from stage to waiting room, you may return this card to your hand. This is worthless. Well, uh, hold on. I was going to say it's not that bad. It's, it's, like right. a, it's like an encore event, but it's a backup. So if you look at like most encore events, like 1-0, give your character but it encore forfeits event, it's your opponent. Undercard. If it gives your opponent, it's you're paying one to still give your opponent advantage, and it goes one for one for what's on the field. Because your opponent I guess, like, still it, gets the reverse. If it's a one zero character, you'd probably just rather have this be another one zero character. Yeah, yeah that's where I'm if it's, at. Right? If it's a higher level character, you then have to pay this. Style. I'd rather or have another one zero character to play than have this backup. Or have a backup that actually gives power that. Ignores the reverse completely. Yeah, that nullifies your uh, opponent's reverse. Yeah, dude, I, you're right. Yeah, and this card, this card blinded me with its sexiness, but it's actually bad. Yeah, it's 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 a very D deceptive card. Don't May fall for. Maybe there maybe there's something that can take advantage of this, but it I don't care. It's bad. Next. Yeah, if if it returned it to field from stage, that would be like I think it would actually be pretty decent then. Yeah. Right, like a nice one card. zero like encore would be like pretty decent. Yeah, All right. But anyway, you. connecting thoughts. Choose Ooh, one yeah. of your my soccer Ajima irreplaceable existence. The finisher in memory. Place it to any slot on the stage. Does not have to be empty. And that my gains five k power for the turn. Um, that is so good. this is an event that cheats your my out of memory after your Rize put it there. Um, so the general package is probably going to be four Rize, four Mai, three of this event? Question mark? Maybe four if you're uh, going really heavy into this. Um, but, like, I don't know, playing that 3-2 for all of the benefits and no drawbacks for one is pretty good. And I think it's worth playing multiples of this event in your deck. Especially because if you mill it, it causes your Mai to hit, too. So it's, like, not even a drawback in that sense. Yeah. That's a really good point. But I think the weird thing about this card is the fact that it gives 5,000 power. Like, sure. if, if you look at the effects of the actual Mai, they're both... It's either on attack or on play. So, like, you don't need to reverse the character, so why is it giving 5,000 power? So that the Mai lives cross-turn and goes back to memory so that you can play this event again and bring it back uh... up. Uh... Yeah, I, it, I guess it's like, like ensuring that your, your Maya will go to 16 base if you bring it out with this. That's really good. You're I, like, I feel like this card would be a lot more busted if it did something else other than 5k. Yeah, I mean, the 5k is whatever. I don't think like, if it did like literally anything else, it would be like an S pure card, probably. Yeah, I mean, I think this is still because it's an event A minus, it's still very, very good. It's this, a very good event. This set yeah. doesn't have a way to search its event. So you're, this is a card you have to hang on to. 
like bringing you to effectively a six card hand for the entire how, game. How how crazy would it be to just run the my finisher without any of these memory pull effects? Not crazy at all in many. It, it's kind of like, like, like running a Mikasa. The, in the, the my is still fine on its own because both yeah. the memory pull effects are kind of awkward. The t the two one level assist isn't very good, and this Can card you deny is like the Rize memory effect. Can you fail to find? Huh? Huh? You may choose. Okay, so you can still play the Rize and not proc the memory. It's not but mandatory. Like, I don't know the re the whole draw of the Rize is it it goes right into your finisher, right? It, yeah, it synergizes so well, but it's like, does the synergy even mean anything when the payoff card is five thousand power? I would happily play to pay two stock for my any day. Um, paying one for my with five k extra power is dumb. It, but, it's like if you if you just you can just take this event and the level assist out of your deck and just have extra four, slots. five, six more deck slots. Yeah, like the, I think the Maya is good regardless. Yeah, in a vacuum, the Maya is still great. I just I just don't know if it's worth running this card in general, and for that reason, I'd give it a B. Like I think it's good in a my deck, of course, but you don't need it. I kind of see what you're saying there. You, you might even you might even be better off just not running this card. She swayed my opinion. Like, this could be like it seems like dead weight almost in a sense. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, it's hard. To, it's hard to justify three oh, events. Oh, oh. Just control Z. Control Z. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, it's hard to justify running three plus of any event, right? But as a three of event. As like a contender for a three of event, I think this is a really good one. Yeah, especially like, because when the mites are memory, you don't have to worry about finding them. You just need to get this, uh, find this event, and hold on to it. And okay. The, okay. Well, if, all, if you're that if the all your mites going to back, memory, that the mites going, going to back memory. to memory. What if you want to two turn your opponent? You play the Mai from hand. The Mai goes to memory when your opponent fronts it. You you have this event in hand. It pulls back out for one. Let's you play two one three five anti change back or two one three five backups more liberally. Like it has pretty natural synergy with other cards. Brandon. Yeah. As a magic player, you know what this looks like to me? It looks like a win more card. Kind of what I was thinking. It's like a win more card. I'd maybe give it even a C. Well I don't, I don't know if I go that far, but C plus. If you're running the Rize, it's great because it's just playing your Mai for one less stock with more power. I guess, but then you're you're clogging up your deck with these useless events that don't do anything until level but three. But is clogging up your is quote unquote clogging up your deck worth not running a four of of a re, on reverse Rize? You can also still run the Rize on its own though. Maybe you don't even run the Rize. Just maybe you just splash red as the finisher. Maybe you run like a green, blue, yellow deck and. Use red as the top end. You don't. You don't need any of the other cards. You just need the bunny girl senpai herself. I you guess. I think it's worth messing with because of the efficiency of the card. I, I think. I, it could, I'm not, I think. I agree with you. I think it could. There's I'm not disagreeing with any of your there. points. I'm not disagreeing with any of your points. I just think the efficiency of the card and the fact that you're saying Mai's going to 16. She's clearing a lane. She's pinging and probably siding for one 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 one, as like a damage profile, and then she's gonna go to memory, and I'm threatening pulling her back out for one again, freeing up if I tapped all the way out, two of my stock to p do something else. C come on, if you're going for your finisher and then living another turn, you don't need to lay your finisher down again. You just need to field something and swing. Well, the fact that it's a ping really. Really it's a ping on play. It's a ping. You're playing two one ping <laughs> main ping. phase. You're playing you're three one ping in main phase on the next it, turn. It still sounds like a win more card to me in the sense that win more win and wise is fine. It, okay, okay, if you if you go for your finisher, you don't kill them. They swing back, they don't kill you. You literally just need to play three cards and turn them sideways. This is a okay, think about it that way. This is three one an extra attack, if you Yeah. Would. It's it's extra instances of damage. But that's only if you sw you s you go for the kill. They cancel. They try to kill you by some 
means they cancel. You cancel their damage. Okay, but what if you just... So by that logic, this card's only good hard if you play, fuck up and they fuck up. Don't even play the Rize. You play this and the Mai. You hard, how, do you, how do you get the Mai to memory, then? You hard play the Mai. The Mai goes to memory herself when she's front attacked. Oh, uh, that's not worth playing, then. That's absolutely not worth it. What do you mean? She goes to memory herself. I mean, you'd obviously play the Rize if you're playing this. But what if you didn't? What if you played this and the Mai? You if you play didn't, the then Mai, you're an idiot. It's just too inconsistent at that you point. Play, no, it's not. You play the Mai for two. You're adding these three one events that literally do nothing unless your finisher do combo fails. They don't do nothing, though. They play unless the your Mai, finisher fails. If you, they, if you don't have the level zero to get it in your memory, it does. No, they don't. The, car, the Mai goes to memory itself. Are you ignoring me? The Mai, no, that's only if they front attack it. Who's going to not front attack it? No, 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 no. Here, this, this is what I'm saying is that um, it, you're gonna go for your finisher combo, right? You're gonna lay all your mice down and swing for the fences, right? And then if they cancel that, this card can end up in your memory. So if you're not running the Rize, the only card, to, the only way to get the re, the Mai in your memory, it's not is the if only they way. Cancel. It's how not do you get it in only... your memory otherwise? When the card is front attack, she goes to memory. Unconditional. Yeah, that means your finisher combo failed. And if it did fail, this plays it again for one and pings on play. But this card's only good then if you fail your combo. It's not oh, only it's good not. because you fail your it's, combo. It gets it out for one less talk that's worth considering all on its own. Yeah, it's uh, very, very well, I, thought, I thought you were saying that um, it, you're not running the reason in that sense. I guess. I mean, like... I, I, think, I think we're just misunderstanding each other here. I'm saying that even if you play it, even if you bring it out with this card on the turn you actually play it, it's super efficient. In this backup strategy, where you have this card, you hard play the Mai, and you play it again, you can play it, bring it out for one, and ping again. That's still really good. <laughs> Like, I'm not disagreeing with your gripes. I'm saying it's still worth messing with to see how much value in practice this I actually guess. I don't, brings to the deck. I think it's good in theory, and I think it stands a chance in practice. I, I think I'm going to keep it as an A- minus just because of that. Yeah, the fact that this is going to send my to 16, going to clear a lane instead of siding. And save you sock all... <sighs> The big problem with Mai is she swings for base four on front, though. That's also yeah. worth considering. Maybe you never won a front with Mai because she's a base four soul with Climax. Uh, she she is like a... She does a three soul, right? Yeah, so she's a base four soul with Climax. So maybe you don't want a front with her. So maybe power is useless. Like... Even if it is, it still gets a card that sends itself to memory. Back from memory for one that's off, then you would then it would be otherwise. And it would ping on play. And it would ping on average, so yeah. On play. yeah. It's still so awkward. Like, the it is so that, awkward. I agree. At first glance, the Rize that sent the finisher to memory seems super, super good. But the cards that you have to run to pull it out of memory are so lackluster that it almost seems like it's not worth running the package altogether. That's kind of where I'm at with it. That's where I got hit when I was trying to build, like... English Futaba uh, great performance build is like, I was like, oh, I can't run my, there are too many slots. But maybe running my empty is yeah. fine because she's so good. Because anyone watching this video, rewind to the beginning of the video and you'll you'll hear me say that the Rize is busted because it sends a card to memory for free, but it's like to get that card out of your memory, which you need to get out at some point, it's only this card or the soccer. You have to start running clutter in your deck to do so, and it's <sighs> maybe it's just better to hard play the Mai. I think I, I think the I, okay, okay, okay. I think the Rize is worth playing on its own because Rize's are good. Yeah, I agree. and I think the finisher is worth running because it's a strong profile. It 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 pings for one or two on play, pings for one on attack, and then sends itself to memory to deny the reverse combo. Yeah. This event just seems irrelevant to me. That's fair. I think we should leave it there. Kind of open-ended. 
yeah, there's no way to really resolve this. This is a card that we're all going to play with in English. And I yeah. think that, unfortunately, despite how good on paper it is, we're going to eventually not run the card. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, but, like, whatever. I hope it works. I already do. Yeah. That'd be so... It'd just be so cool to do that. Comment below your opinion on the viability of this card. This sad boy writing a letter. All right. I think that's it for Red, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Um, we're going to get Blue out uh, as soon as we can. Um, for y'all, it'll probably be like tomorrow, <laughs> depending <laughs> on how we put this stuff out. Um, Brandon, I just want to thank you for t uh, joining us this time around. I hope you had a good time. I did. All right. <laughs> it's good. We can... Well, <laughs> We'll keep you in mind for Kona Suba 3. <laughs> I hope that never happens. <laughs> You'll never have to miss Code Vein again, Brandon. <laughs> oh, my God. There is a Kona Suba 3. It's called Sneaker Punko. Oh, oh, fuck you. I don't even want to talk about it. Thank you for joining in, guys. Have a great 